Hello, this video is uh, on how to set up electronic facing on an AR7200 BSTEX using the uh, Studio X program and this is going to be used with a JR9503 this radio does not have the uh, option to do the uh, facing via the radio and I'll be using a 5 blade multi rotor head I'll be using an AR7210 it's no different than a 7200 and I'll be using the Studio X program as well I started off by mechanically setting up everything as you will see when I power up the radio mechanically I have all the links straight down the shaft on every single blade grip When I move forward side click on the radio, the swash plate pretty much is normal. Moves forward at 12 o'clock position, back at 6 o'clock position. What we want is to electronically face the swash plate so the tail so this grip on the over the boom will not move when we give it forward and back uh, side click. One thing that I noticed is I've set up my fly bar uh, to set up zero degrees, zero degrees pitch on the blade grips on all of them and I found out that this particular grip or ball link is 45 degrees to this blade grip. As it is, forward is straightforward like a normal helicopter. What we want is we want the swash plate to rotate on this axis here and here, which is 45 degrees offset, pushing forward towards the 10, 30, 11 o'clock position. To do this, the hell is powered up. AR72 set up. We come to Studio X. That is the beginning of the program. With the BSTEX on, transmitter on, we connect the data cable. and here comes the program on this program it gives you the uh, firmware features governor hardware 9.0 we come to the setup overview and here it tells us everything that we have set up on the BSTEX well right now on the swash mixer which is step H it's set up for 120 degree swash blade. So how do we do the electronic facing? Click here on custom. Click on the word custom and it takes you to this menu which gives you a graphic representation of your swash blade. We'll preset at a 120 because the swash blade is faced at 120 degrees and that 45 degree angle that we talked about that's going to be our facing so once we put in 45 degrees up here now it says active I'm not sure if you can tell or not once it says active now we're going to verify that the swash plate is going to move in conjunction with forward and back and now it swings 45 degrees offset. We want to make sure that this blade grip is true and over the boom.
and there should have no movement with forward and back elevator. This is what I looked up and I am using a, the top one which is a right hand rotation controlling the leading edge of the rotor. Facing should move front of the swash forward and to the left towards the 11 o'clock position. This is not to scale but on a conventional two bay helicopter the swash blade rotates on this axis which is 90 degrees to the frame it moves forward and back and what we wanted was that forward and back movement offset 45 degrees up and down and this is what we have now